Hello there, I am Dean, and yes, you are watching Dean's Brick Show. I want to say thank you for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell so you can be notified with all my future releases. And also, please share this video, leave a comment, tell me what you think, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So today, I am reviewing another Hidden Side set. Um, and this is the last hidden side set that I have. Um, I have a total of six uh, different sets. And today, this we are going to be talking about the Ghost Train Express. It is set 70424. And it has 698 pieces. Um, comes with six minifigs as well. And the Hidden Side uh, series is now officially done on lego.com. It's been retired. Um, and like I said, this is the last one I have uh, to put together. There are probably um, a total of 12-ish. I'm not really sure. 12, 13 sets all together. Um, and there are actually still a couple, um, like three different ones that are uh, normal priced on Amazon uh dot com right now um for those who of you who still want to collect them otherwise you'll have to you know buy them from third party um places you know whether it be ebay or you know anybody else just randomly selling a set and usually you know they they mark it up uh you know once a set is retired so um again ghost train express it's a pretty fun little set six minifigs almost 700 pieces 698 uh, to be exact. Uh, so let's take a, a closer look at this. Um, and again, this is the set, or this is the part of the theme, um, which you can download uh, a little game or, or a little app for your phone, and you can kind of do some ghost collecting, um, you know, with your phone, a little augmented reality sort of thing. It, you know, it's pretty fun, kind of fun, keeps you entertained, keeps you off the streets, unless you want to be on the streets, then, you know, whatever. So, yeah, let's take a closer look at this, shall we? Alrighty here, taking a closer look at our six minifigures. Starting on the left, we have Jack holding his cell phone device, which he uses to help uh, recognize um, the ghost and demons and other creatures. Um, and then this guy here in the blue, his name is Paul, and I think this is the first set uh, with Paul. Um, that I have anyway. Paul's a little scared and he has a banana on his shirt. So that's odd, but okay. And next we have our scientist here, JB, probably the, the brains of the bunch. And uh, she also has her cell phone uh, device for, you know, identifying ghosts and demons and whatnot. And then we have Parker with their signature purple hair. And, you know, Parker and JB and Jack, they all pretty much uh, had the same outfit on in every set they're in. And then we have our demons, our ghosts. Um, first guy there, first one on the left actually is Chuck. And, um, you know, you have the option to keep them, you know, in human form or ghost form. I like ghost form. I'm pretty sure Chuck does as well, because, you know, when he's a human, if you notice on his head, um, he has to wear glasses. But as a ghost, he has perfect eyesight. No more need for glasses. So that's kind of fun for him, I guess. And then lastly, we have Ms. Santos, and uh, she looks kind of uh, scary, you know, and there's your regular human head and, you know, her regular human minifig hair or whatever you want to call it, and she gets to carry the, the cool little lantern around. So, overall, nice collection of minifigs. I really like the, the ghosts. Let's take a closer look at the train and the train station. Alrighty, I have uh, put the minifigures um, on top of the train in various locations, uh, just for fun. And it's kind of a you know, you got the engine here, and then you got a little middle middle car uh, with JB um, holding um, Chuck inside after he's been captured. 
um, on the engine. You know, we have Jack and Miss Santos there. We have Paul in the background there um, on the in front of the train station, and then we have uh, Parker um, on the back um, on the caboose. There has a little you know ray gun, if you will. Um, but like with all the hidden side sets, they all kind of transform in certain little areas to reveal, you know, some sort of ghostly um, possession or demonic possession or something like that. So, so that's kind of fun. Kind of hard to see there, but there are some, uh, the windows there are like broken glass uh, decals to make it look like you know, kind of uh, evil eyes. And then we got a little switch here where we can open up and just kind of reveal some teeth there. So that's kind of fun. And then uh, let's uh, swing it back around this way. And there's a lever right here that we can flick. And we got some wings that come out of the side of the train. So that's pretty cool. And then um, over here, um, back here where it says uh, Newberry Station. So we can flip that up there and then we can flip up these little like hands to make it look like there's some, you know, got some claws there on top of the, on top of the train station. So some fun little little features and you know some nice little decals here on uh let's flip it around on both sides of the train car. And again there's the wing. We got some stairs over here. So yeah, kind of a fun little little train set, just you know, enough track there to to store it on, so that's pretty cool. That's all you really need, unless you obviously wanted to um, you know, get a larger track. Um, I would think you could be, you should be able to, you know, motorize this train if, if need be, um, like you can do with a lot of their, their train sets. Um, but overall, just kind of, a more for, uh, display purposes, if you ask me. So, anyway, kind of a fun little, little set there. Alrighty there, so that is the Ghost Train Express. Um, it's my last uh, hidden side set. Uh, probably be the last one that I review unless I, you know, I got an Amazon gift card burning a hole in my pocket. Maybe I'll get one of the ones that they still have left. We'll see. So, um, I actually have something that I just purchased from lego.com. Um, hopefully it will show up later this week. I, I got a, a set from the Monkey Kid theme. Uh, mainly because I wanted to get this uh, promotion they have right now. Um, it's a uh, Amelia Earhart tribute set. It's a little plain that hopefully that gets here in the middle of the week and then uh, maybe I'll build the set I got uh, for the Monkey Kid. It's the, um, I think, Spider Queen uh, Arachnoid Base. So my first uh, Monkey Kid set. So I'm excited for both of those. And, and yeah, and then I'm going to try to keep working on my mock. Uh, I, I said my mock again. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's just the mock. A mock. I'm trying to not make a mockery of this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's, you know, come along slowly um, as usual. But anyway, just want to say thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can be notified. And leave a comment and feel free to share this video. And remember, it's a big world out there. Break it up. Good night.